Hey, hello, comrades, and welcome back to my YouTube show. Recently, I know I haven't been making any videos of the history of Soviet Union or the Cold War for recently because I've been working on other videos like the Rotel Dorado show and the uh, other bunch of videos on my YouTube channel, as you see now. So anyway, today's today's video is going to be on Comrade on Drop, Comrade Bry Comrade Bryashnyap's fear of the KGB. So this is this is going to be a very interesting uh, topic because I just found out about it recently and I decided it I decided to share it with you. So Comrade Brezhnev's fear of the KGB while general secretary of the party. So as soon as Brezhnev took power in in October 1964 following the removal or peaceful retirement of Comrade Khrushchev, he was he was uh, sent into peaceful retirement and and Brezhnev and Kazakhstan managed to take power as the new leaders new uh, officials of the Soviet Union so Brezhnev was elected the first secretary of the first secretary of the Communist Party of Soviet Union which that name would be later changed and two years later in, 19, in April 1966 and uh, government in the Congress meeting, Congress party meeting of the Communist Party of Soviet Union, which would be held from March 23rd to, 9th, to April 8th of 1966. And so Brezhnev would rename the position to General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Soviet Union, which its name had been there, been that name since the time of Joseph Stalin. And so uh, Alexei Kozygin managed to take the office as premier of the uh, the 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 premier of Soviet Union. So he was the prime minister of the Soviet Union. So like kind of like the vice president. But in Soviet Union, you didn't have a vice president because they had a different government structure there because they had the general secretary, which was kind of like the president. And then you had the the, and then you had the prime minister. So premier was kind of like the vice president almost. And so, and those, the general secretary of communist party was the official name of the leader. And so there was no, there was no elections about, about, about you get to have another term as a leader, kind of like, kind of like what the United States is doing. In Soviet Union, you didn't have that. Once you are elected leader, you were you were to remain leader until your death, until you die, and so that was a, that was a rule in the Soviet Union. So so you had leaders die in Soviet Union. So that was Lenin died, when Stalin died, when Brezhnev died, when Andropov died, and when Chernenko died. So you had five leaders of Soviet Union die during its seventy years of history. Oh. Uh, yeah, so you had Lenin died, you had Stalin died, you had Brezhnev died, you had Andropov died, and you had Cherne and you had Chernenko die. So those were five leaders. And the two leaders of Soviet Union that survived were Khrushchev and Comrade Gorbachev. So those were the two uh, leaders who survived the survived the Soviet leadership or the Soviet train. So yeah, those were the two leaders that survived the Soviet ship, basically. And so, uh, so Comrade Brezhnev's rule was mo was uh, so so a lot of people think that he was a great leader because he made the oil prices increase, and so Soviet Union made a lot of money by selling oil, and the economy was doing very well, and so. By if it was in it was in the early sixties or late sixties, like nineteen sixty five, that was when Soviet Union started to increase the military because they went on a military buildup because they wanted to build more uh, more weapons and more tanks, and so the military increased a lot. Then it and the economy was doing much better than it was in the in the early sixties, and the economy was doing much better. In the in the seventies, all the way until late eighties and nine, late eighties, the early eighties and late seventies, because that was when the economy in Soviet Union was doing terrible. Because you had the war in Afghanistan that was still going on. 
And so uh, it was in it was in the 70s, late 70s. That was when uh, Brezhnev was really afraid of the KGB because the KGB started to like started to investigate this uh, top government, this government officials or top government officials in the government that was known as the Politburo, and there was the Central Committee. And so KGB started like investigating these government officials who were who had any links, links or any uh, or had anything to do with the who, who, or who were involved with the corruption in the Soviet government because there was the huge cotton scandal or huge cotton case that was in the Soviet Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan and others West and other South South Soviet republics and so. There was some invest. There was some investigations going on over there, and there were some invest investigations going on in Moscow. And so, the, and I remember here reading some reports that Brezhnev's daughter and son Yuri 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 Brezhnev and Galena Galena Brezhnev were were sheltered by the Soviet government, so they would not be investigated or even arrested and sentenced to jail or prison in Soviet Union. And so Brezhnev was really scared of the KGB because KGB was being led by Comrade Andropov, who or Comrade Yuri Andropov, who would be, later become the General Secretary of the Soviet Union in November of 1982. And so, he, and so, and he would held that position until November 1982, until his death on February 9th, 1984. So he held the position of the general secretary for about 15 months and he would die 15 months later but in order that in ordering this from happening comrade brezhnev did not want yuri on drop off to become new leader after his death and of course we had and of course he wanted to make comrade Chernyan, chernyanko the next leader of the soviet union to succeed him and because comrade uh comrade khrushchev Oh, sorry, Comrade Chernyantka was Brezhnev's friend because he was his personal secret, personal assistant, because he gave him all the mail and he gave him about like important information about like somebody's birthday or there's any uh, problems in the local towns or cities in the Soviet Union, and so he would give Brezhnev all this information. And so Brezhnev really liked having Chernenko around when he, while he was the general secretary of Soviet Union. And so the relationship between Brezhnev and Chernenko began in 1948, so three years after the end of World War II, because Chernenko met Comrade Brezhnev in, in Moldova, which was at that time the Moldovian Socialist, Soviet Socialist Republic, which was at that time, and now it's renamed to simply Moldova. And so, um, and so that's how, and, and so after returning from Moldova, that's how his career started in the Moscow. And so there was a struggle, there was a struggle for power about who was going to be the next leader of the Soviet Union because Brezhnev was really sick in the winter of 1984, 1981 to 1982. And so he was in the hospital for some time. And so the country was being governed by Andropov and Ustinov, Ustinov, uh, Gramika, Gramika, who was the foreign minister, who was the minister of foreign affairs, Ustinov, who was the minister of defense, and Andropov, who was the chairman of the KGB. And Brezhnev was really scared of him because he started he started investigating this government officials who were responsible for the corruption in the Soviet government. And so it was on it was on it was in May 1982. Brezhnev suffered his first heart attack and or actually his stroke that was while he was leader. And so he was in the hospital for quite some time. And so. It was at the same time when Andropov took the position of secretariat, which was the or the second secretary of the party, and so and and so it became it became clearly it became clearly obvious 
it became clearly obvious that that Andropov would be the new leader of the of the country, which would happen until November, which would happen until November twelfth of nineteen eighty two. So two days after the death of Comrade Brezhnev, which happened on November 10th, 1982. And so Brezhnev was last seen in the public. It was on November 7th, 1982, when the Soviet, when the Soviet Union was celebrating its 65th anniversary of the Great October Socialist Revolution of 1917. And he was last seen in the public. For, by the Soviet by the Soviet nation and three days later he would die on November 10th 1982 and so once again there was oh, and so for the first for the first time there was no TV TV was off for three days nobody knew what was going on until three days later the Soviet government made an announcement that that comrade and Bre comrade Brezhnev died and so the nation was really sad and so he was succeeded by Comrade Andropov because the Central Committee wanted to make a decision about who was going to be the new leader of the Soviet Union. And so Brezhnev wanted Chernenko to be the new leader because he was against Andropov because he was KGB guy. And so, but Brezhnev Andropov beat it, beaten Chernenko, and he took the office as General Secretary of the party. And he would held that position until fit until 15 months later he died in he died in February 1984 and then he was succeeded by comrade uh Chernyenka, who would be the leader of the Soviet Union for 13 months from February 13 1984 all the way until his death on March 11 1985 and he was succeeded by comrade Mikhail Gorbachev and so Gorbachev would lead the Soviet Union for six years with his reforms Perestroika and Glasnost and that would bring an end to the Soviet Union and on December 26, 1991. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this new interesting topic. So kind of new information I learned because I was writing an article about the Cold War uh, or I was planning to make my first book on the Cold War. So if you guys, uh, so I'm still working on it. And so whenever it's done, I'll probably show you guys the book I've been writing on, writing on the Cold War. So the title of my book I'm planning to write is going to be called The Cold War, The World That Lived on the Fear of Nuclear War. So I'm still working on it. So whenever I'm done working on it, maybe I'll publish it so you could, guys could read it and you guys could learn some more information about it. So there you go. So I'll see you in the next video. Dosvidanya. Goodbye.